Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 62 of Wonder by RJ Palacio. So let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, I suggest you click off of the excuse me, video now. You have been warned. Chapter 62, excuse me, in science. I'm not the greatest student in the world. I know some kids actually like school, but I honestly can't say I do. I like some parts of school, like PE and computer class and lunch and recess, but all in all, I'd be fine without school. And the thing I hate the most about school is homework we get. It's not enough that we have to sit through class after class and try to stay awake while they fill our heads with all this stuff we probably never need to know, like how to figure out the surface area of a cube or what the difference is between kinetic and potential energy. I'm like, who cares? I've never even heard my parents say the word kinetic in my entire life. I hate science the most out of all my classes. We get so much work, it's not even funny. And the teacher, Miss Rubin, is so strict about everything. Even the way we write our headings at the top of our papers. I once got two points off of a homework assignment because I didn't put the date on top. Crazy stuff. When me and August were still friends, I was doing okay in science because August sat next to me and always let me copy his notes. August was the neatest, has the neatest handwriting of anybody I've ever seen. He's a boy. Even his script is neat and up and down perfectly with really small round lo loopy letters, but now that we're ex-friends, it's bad because I can't ask him to let me copy his notes anymore. So I was kind of scrambling today trying to take notes about what Miss Rubin was saying. My handwriting is awful. When all of a sudden she started talking about the fifth grade science fair project, how we all had to choose a science project to work on. While she was saying this, I was thinking, we just finished the freaking Egypt project, now we have to start a whole new thing. And then in my head I was going, oh no. Like that kid in Home Alone, with his mouth hanging open and his hands on his face. That was the face I was making on the inside. And then I thought of those pictures of melting ghost faces I've seen somewhere where the mouths are open wide and they're screaming. And then all of a sudden this picture flew into my head, this memory, and I knew what summer had meant by bleeding scream. It's so weird how it all just came to me in this flash. Someone in homeroom had dressed up his bleeding scream costume on Halloween. Summer had met my bleeding scream. It was so weird how it all just came to me in the flash. Someone in homeroom had dressed up in a bleeding scream costume on Halloween. I remember seeing him a few desks away from me, and then I remember not seeing him again. Oh man, that was August. All of this hit me in science class while the teacher was talking. Oh man, I'd been talking to Julian about August. Oh man, now I understood. I was so mean. I don't even know why. I'm not even sure what I said, but it was bad. It was only a minute or two. It's just that I knew Julian and everybody thought I w was so weird for hanging out with August all the time, and I felt stupid, and I don't know why I said that stuff. I just was going along. I was stupid. I'm stupid. Oh, God. He was supposed to come as Boba Fett. I would never have said that stuff in front of Boba Fett, but that was him, that bleeding scream sitting at the desk looking over at us, the long white mask with the fake squirting blood, the mouth open wide, like the ghoul was crying. That was him. I felt like I was going to puke. That is the end of this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.